list. I wanted to move on and talk about Mr. Kanye West. Obviously, Kanye's been going through some madness over the last couple of weeks, it feels like. Um, it feels like weeks, feels like years. Who knows how much time has actually elapsed. But whatever the case may be, he has had some very interesting things to say on social media. Um, from the, you know, uh, breakup with Julia Fox to the simping over... Can you call it simping that's your wife? You can't call it simping. No, that's a bit rude. For whatever. To the constant pursuit of Kim online, even though they're in the process of getting divorced, allegedly. It's all been a bit of a mare, isn't it? Um, for me personally i'm just here for the shoes i'm here for the clothes i'm here for the stage shows i'm here for the motivational design kind of speeches that he gives um i'm here for the music of course all this other play play stuff i'm not really interested in but it does really make you think in general when it comes to kanye whether you should care about those things if you do care about the clothes, the fashion, the shoes, the blah, 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 blah. Should you care about somebody in their entirety? Should you? Especially someone that you don't know, right? Because I know he gives a lot of himself out there and he puts a lot of stuff in public that he probably shouldn't have or he, that he probably shouldn't do. I know that's what the recent sort of screenshot we saw from Kim, where she was basically asking, why do you keep screenshotting our images and sharing our private messages with people? He said, because I'm your number one fan, you know, and people are saying that's bipolar. We don't know what's going on there. I'm not going to psychoanalyze the guy. Not my business. But it's very interesting that it kind of made me think about that, like whether or not you should be caring about him as a person if you're going to enjoy the other things that he produces because part of the, because the only way you're going to enjoy those things is if he's in a good sound mind. And at the moment, is he in a good sound mind? I don't know. But the number part is really interesting to me was this latest post that he uploaded on his Instagram profile where he kind of finally decided to take off the all caps because I think people were basically, you know, getting him in the comments for basically screaming because, you know, in internet or social media talk, when you write all caps, it basically comes across to you're screaming. Whereas if you write all caps um, using a pen, it doesn't look like you're screaming. It just looks like all caps. But for whatever reason, when you write it on the keyboard, it does. So... He posted an image of himself at the free Larry Hoover concert, which again, impeccable stage design. No one can fuck with Kanye when it comes to production of music shows. Like that experience is just, you know, it's other level. I can only imagine what it's like actually being in the stadiums or these arenas when these things are happening. It looks incredible on TV. It looks incredible on your laptop, on your phone. So what, just imagine what it's like to actually be there in those spaces. But anyway, he uploaded a picture of himself um, looking amazing, great picture. And he says the following, the caption, I've learned that using all caps makes people feel like I'm screaming at them. I'm working on my communication. I can benefit from a team of creative or professionals, organizers, and mobilizers and community leaders. Thank everybody for supporting me. I know sharing screenshots was jarring and it came off as harassing Kim. It didn't come off. It probably was, mate. Um, I take accountability. I'm still learning in real time. I don't have the answers. To be a good leader is to be a good listener. This I'm still learning in real time is something that I have kind of really grown to respect over time and i've really kind of understood especially in the wake of virgil's passing r.i.p to the goat i think one of the special powers or one of the special ingredients that made both of those guys great in terms of kanye and virgil was their ability and their willingness to fail and learn in public so I think too many of us, especially when it comes to creatives, we want to kind of perfect and really fine tune what we're doing before we present it to the world. If it's not fine tuned, if it's not correct, no one gets to see it. And more likely than not, if no one gets to see it, if, if more likely than not, if you don't put it out like, like, like that, it's never going to come out. So you kind of always have this stacked, like I have, I have a hard drive full of flipping PSD files and line sheets of brands I never launched, posters I never put out, zines I never released, like crazy shit, right? And all of it is kind of just there, collecting dust, doing absolutely nothing. But if you put stuff out and you allow yourself to be ridiculed, you allow yourself to look, in, you know, to look less than or to kind of not meet the mark, it kind of gives you time to grow. And usually it's like learning a language. You only learn a language when you start speaking to native speakers. But speaking to native speakers, you have to go and actually speak to them in public, which can be really embarrassing, right? Because you can fumble over the words, get your grammar all mixed up. But actually, you learn far quicker that way than just sitting at home doing Duolingo on your app, on your phone, sorry. Sorry, I, I'm clogged up, hay fever. Um, or doing any sort of like remote learning. You actually learn better by being in front of people. 
and kind of, you know, uh, taking off their social cues, seeing how they wink at certain words, move at this sort of words. You have any indentation, uh, accent, pronunciation, whatever. All those things are important when you're learning a language. So I think it's the same thing goes when it comes to uh, being somewhat creative. You kind of have to learn in public, but we don't do it. I learned that. But the one thing that's really concerning was this sort of like, I'm still learning idea or <sighs> I take accountability, I'm still learning. I don't know. The other side of me thinks you're 44 years old, bro. You've got four kids. You've lived a full and somewhat rich life. You packed a lot into your 44 years or whatever old years, right? Like, are you like, are you learning or are you just a douche? And if you are a douche, is that okay to be a douche? Like, is it okay? Because I feel like, for whatever reason, for me anyway, for me, I always felt like I could be a pretty decent PR person for a celebrity because I feel like I have, if there's a, I have a lot of flaws. But one of my best traits, I feel like, is I have a lot of self awareness. Like I can, I can, I can call myself out in a way no one else can call my call me out in. Right, I'm very aware of how I am, how I come across, how people view me. I don't need people to tell me; I can just see it. I've got that kind of observation skills in that regard, and I'm also aware of how other people view other people. But I think some people don't see how people view them; they just assume in their head that they're a good guy. So maybe in Kanye's head, he keeps thinking he's a good guy. He keeps thinking he's a kind of hero, when in fact. A lot of people are looking at him as the villain. And I've always thought the best way to kind of having a great strategy for how you approach social, how you approach your brand online is to understand how you're perceived and to either lead into it or to do everything you can to change the narrative. But trying to pretend like that narrative doesn't exist never works. So this whole like I'm learning sort of thing is a bit weird because it kind of makes me feel like I don't know like he's like observing absorbing himself of responsibility, but it gives the impression like he doesn't get it. And it's not a problem if he does get it. Do you know what I mean that's that's a weird thing? He's allowed not to get it. But at some point we have to accept that this is just his personality. This is Kanye West. And maybe like I said before, I don't care about all this other stuff, I don't care about this, I don't care about that, I just care about the fashion and the clothes. No, if you care about the fashion and clothes, you have to care about all of this. This is what comes with it. You're going to get him spazzing out online. Because imagine how he is now. It's only going to get worse in the future. When his kids get older and they start doing their own things, he's only going to be the, the more amplified version of what he is now because he hasn't, his vote, he, the way he kind of expressed himself hasn't dimmed over the years. It's only got, especially with the success he has, newly minted billionaire, his access, his ability to like speak and be heard is bigger or it's on a higher platform than it's ever been ever in his entire life. So if you don't like him now, you're probably not going to like him ever. It's a weird place to be in it. Really weird place to be in it. I think the person that put it the best, ironically enough, was Kevin Hart. Curse of the news. Kevin Hart said, rushes to Kanye's um, aid and mid feud with Kid Kanye and Billie Eilish. Again, another part of the drama I haven't even mentioned. Uh, entertainer Kevin Hart expressed his personal thoughts about the ongoing feuds of Kanye West and has ignited against stars Pete Davidson, Kid Cudi, and Billie Eilish. What a list of people to beef with publicly. Um, Hart hopes Kid... No, yeah. Um, the star lo uh, started off by issuing a disclaimer over Kanye's behaviour and warned Kid Cudi as well as Billie Eilish that West was, quote-unquote, just being himself. Hart hopes Kid Cudi and Billie Eilish realise that West's comments and actions are just him being himself. He later went on to detail to tell The Sun he was quoted as saying as follows, Look, Kanye is Kanye, so it's drama to some, but it's not drama to him. At the end of the day, in West's eyes, he says he's being himself and people need to either accept it or move on. And legitimately, I think that's been the most eye-opening and on the point observations of what it's like to be a Kanye West fan in 2020 that I've ever seen. Me personally, I don't have an issue with it because I think I've said before, I've come from a very eclectic sort of musical background and interest, especially being a DJ. 
and I follow a lot of very, or I'm a fan of a lot of artists who have very questionable past or questionable personal lives. And I've always been able to separate the art from the artist. But it feels like in hip hop, this is the first sort of figure that we've had as a culture where people have had to kind of wrestle with everything inside of them as to whether they should be supporting a guy that can clearly make God level music, but in his personal life comes across like a bit of a douche. You know what I mean? We still haven't got an explanation about the whole Big Sean thing. We don't know what happened with Big Sean. Does he still owe him those millions? Did he get sold out behind the scenes? We have no idea. Um, he basically antagonized his fan base with that red Donald Trump hat. He told everybody that Trump was his fucking stepdad. Like, many things that people didn't really like him doing, he did purposely to kind of push people's buttons, it felt like, which is, again, you know, you wouldn't think that would be a thing that Cardi would do, but he did. And, you know, just one good album, and everyone comes rushing back to him again. So, you know, the feedback loop and the kind of lessons learned aren't going to be there in that case. But I think in general, if you're going to be a Kanye West fan, this is just part of the process. It just is what it is. Um, the, the, it continues here. During the course of his interview with the outlet, Hart also was quizzed over his thoughts regarding the feud of Billie Eilish. And he started to chuckle before admitting that his age prevents him from caring about such things. He said, I don't know. I'm 42. That's what doesn't concern me. True. But Kanye is 44. Why is he arguing with Billie Eilish? <laughs> I don't know. Um, either way, interesting stuff to see. Kanye is doing Kanye things. Hopefully he figures it out. And, you know, hopefully he figures it out. What else can I say, man? What else can I say? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think he even threw a little dart at flipping Machine Gun Kelly. No one's heard any Machine Gun Kelly songs. <laughs> oh, shit. God, the psycho, man. Absolute psycho.